Hey dudes, got some cool stuff today. Got the uh, music desk all done. Uh, it's, I've had it for a little while, but uh, we haven't really done a video about it. But that's not really what today's video is about. But it's kind of in there. So we'll take a quick tour uh, of you know the setup here, and then uh, we'll show you the upgrade I've got, and we'll sort of explain the problem. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and start that. So here's the desk. It's got a uh, keyboard tray that fits a uh, 61 key keyboard. This is my Arturia Keylab 61 Mark II. We've also got, you know, Mackie speakers are still here. Got it upgraded with a uh, 32 inch monitor, I think. Uh, so we've still got monitors. We've got the old lava lamp that everyone should have on their music desk for reasons. I did get a keyboard that has got all of the Reaper stuff. So, a lot of Reaper shortcuts there. Got a couple of different headphones, one for isolation. And this one is a mixing a set of mixers. This is the DT99 Pro. And we've got the uh, Sennheisers for the isolation ones. Now, what we're going to talk about today, in a bit, is this Ozio interface down here, which I've had for quite a while. But, this desk also came with rack mount, um, you know, rack mount system. So here I've got a, I believe that's like a 16 port um, PDU. And it's, you know, it's, it's, it's quite nice because you can turn off the entire, you know, everything here with just one, one switch. So everything except laptop power, that still always gets plugged into the UPS just so it can always have power. Now today's sort of thing that we're working on is this is where I've put my interface, I've got my keyboard, keyboard, I've got my headset, I've got my headphone amplifier from Mackie, and I've got the USB port, uh, USB hub, and then here is where this thing sits. The problem is at this angle, it's just Velcroed in right now, is that at this angle, the Velcro uh, almost always fails. Like within a week, this will pull, you know, this will all pull up and this will have fallen off and be just, you know, hanging by all these wires. So I talked a little bit, you know, to my buddy Adam, and I'll put a link to his uh, YouTube channel. Uh, he has a 3D printer, so we designed a uh, piece of gear that's going to screw into this and if you want to see you know, this is this is what that shelf looks like it's got like these I don't remember all the measurements of them we measured all of this stuff but uh, you can go kind of either way here but this is the, the other one that I just don't have anywhere to put currently but so what we've designed is a bracket that'll screw into here mount to here that'll hold this Arturia, I'm oh, sorry, the Arturia, <laughs> this hold this, that will hold this focus right in place, completely loose in case I want to, you know, uh, unplug it and take it somewhere. So let's go see what this bracket looks like. So I'm going this to me. Design this to fit right around this device. So we'll get some other close ups here in a second of this thing. But it basically has a backing piece so the interface like hits on there on the rear end of it. This will be you know, facing this way. It'll mount with some screws and things here so it just slides right up. It's a very elegant solution to a problem I've had for a while and uh, what I'm going to do is undo this, you know, this entire setup, take it out, screw the thing in there and we'll, and we'll mount it back simple as that but I want to take a quick look you know it's just a standard little piece of plastic that we printed you can see uh, like real close in here kind of hard to tell with this light I guess but there is a channel that'll hold uh, the nut so we'll screw it in from the bottom you know, the bottom part of this through here that goes in there get it nice and secure drop it back in and uh, we'll then have an easy in and out way to uh, 
have the LZU interface not slide off into oblivion. Okay, so this is in. You can see we've got screws in the bottom, these in here. So before we tighten it up, I want to make sure this is flush. I did it earlier, slice this over so that it's there. So this is nice and flush all the way straight here so the interface sits right and is completely accessible. Now, I'll just tighten this down a bit. The lowest torque setting. So, as you can see, these um, the nuts in there, I don't hope you can see it, it's always the wrong angle, you know, the nuts go right in and they fit in the slot and the slot holds them so I didn't have to try to hold both the nut and screw it in and whatever else. So now, we've got this, this just slides right in, it's completely secure, it's clamped down there pretty good. And there's no uh, there's no wiggle about it. It's completely accessible. And if you need, you know, if you needed to go take it out, push it a little bit from behind. You can see that we still got accessibility to all of the ports. So that'll be hanging there. Just pop, pop, pop. Awesome. So let's put it back in. So now we have this nice clean little bracketed interface, USB there, we've got all of our headphone outputs there, speakers are all plugged in, pretty sweet. <clears throat> so to close this up a little bit, awesome bracket, I'm really happy with it. Uh, you know, it's, it's completely accessible, it's never going to fall through again. Um, if you would like a copy of this design, I'm sure we could you know, get it for you. Uh, I don't know what Adam did it in. Uh, I did the sort of the initial sort of layout in Blender and then Adam being more of a 3D artist and uh, machinist, I uh, did it a lot better. Took a lot of measurements, did a few things, tweaked some little bits, but it's perfect for this application. So if you've got a Focusrite, a Focusrite uh, 2i2 and an angled thing, or if you just wanted to mount this somewhere and uh, for other reasons, you could probably also screw this upside down a little bit Eh, but you're going to run into some other issues, like if you had to put it underneath a desk, we would have to flip something around. But, uh, we can certainly probably make those designs uh, available, so like and subscribe, give us a comment about, uh, about that little uh, layout there. I'm in love with it so far. Thanks Adam, thanks everyone.